the Fatiha is an ocean, but there are basic meanings that we can bring to mind as we are reciting them. So when we say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, we bring to heart that we know that absolutely everything is from Allah. In addition to that, we begin in His name, seeking His help in all of our affairs. Some say that bad for isti'ana, seeking the help of Allah. So Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, everything is from Allah, seeking His help in everything this that we do. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen That we have deep-seated gratitude in our hearts for all of Allah's blessings All of His blessings And we praise Him And then Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim And again, we've already said Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim and Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim And now we're even repeating a second time, emphasizing The centrality and the importance of mercy Is that we bring to heart the comprehensive mercy of Allah in all of the meanings that the scholars say of Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. And now this is where it gets Jalali. So it goes from Jamal to Jalal. That Maliki Yawmiddin. That he is the king or the possessor of the Day of Judgment, Yawmiddin. And so we bring to heart fear of the standing before Allah, before the king on the Day of Reckoning. And then we say, Iyaka na'aburu wa Iyaka nastain. Iyaka na'aburu, you alone do we worship. So we renew our sincerity. Iyaka na'aburu. And so imagine if we're actually present with Allah, with that meaning in our prayer, at least 17 times a day in the five prayers. How that will help us to have sincerity in everything that is that we do. And actually renew our sincerity before every act. Wa Iyaka nastain. And that we also, that second part of that verse, and we're aware of our absolute need of Allah. Now we seek His help. <inaudible> Guide us to the straight path. So we're in need of guidance. And then we're asking for guidance, but then, <inaudible> we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are people that He has guided, that He's bestowed His favor upon. Those are the people that we want to be like. And here, what are we intending? So we say, اِهْدِنَا صَرَاتُ مُسْتَقِيمُ سَرَاتَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ Those who you bestowed your favor upon. And we know uh, in another verse, Allah Ta'ala says that وَمَنْ يُتِئِ اللَّهِ الرَّسُولُ فَأُولَيْكَ لَهِ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ So again, there's a mission of in'am. أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ Allah has bestowed His grace upon them. مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ so what is our intention? None of us can be prophets. But when we say, Where is our aspiration? Do we just want to be good? Or is our aspiration to be from the Salihin? Is our aspiration to be from the Shuhada? Or is our aspiration to be from the Siddiqin? We should make the intention to that Allah Ta'ala make us from the elect of the elect of His creation. And that we want to not just be from the lower ranks of those that he's bestowed his favor upon, but those who have high ranks. So we should make that intention every time we recite the Fatiha. Sirat al ladina alihim, the two main archetypes of misguidance. The mawdub alihim are those who have incurred Allah's wrath. They know, but they fail to put into practice. And the dalin are those who go astray without knowledge. Those are the main two archetypes of the different ways that people go astray.